Hello and welcome back. In this chapter, we are continuing our discussion on Dockerfile instructions. In previous chapter, you have learned how to use from label run instructions. In this chapter, you will be learning how to use expose, entry point and CMD instructions. Let's see how to use expose and CMD instructions in the Docker file. I did edit my previous Docker file and I have included expose and CMD instructions. Expose defines port intended to be published. Here I am publishing port 80. The CMD is used for setting default command for container. CMD tells the container what command to run when it starts. I am using the CMD command which is defined in the nginx docker file and this can be overridden. We did see nginx docker file in our earlier chapters. Save the docker file and quit. Let's build the image from docker file. This time I am calling image as my web server. Docker read all the instructions from the Docker file and build the my web server image. And this is the image ID. In first step, base image Ubuntu was downloaded. And this is the Ubuntu image ID. And you can see Docker read Docker file instructions one by one. List the images. My web server image was created with tag v1. Now let's run a container from this image. Container is created. Let's call localhost colon 8080. Nginx is working. Now we have learned building custom Nginx image and running container out of it. Let's do docker container inspect to see all the information associated with the container. Here you can see image name, labels and its values, CMD command. This CMD can be overridden. The entry point value is null because we haven't passed any entry point instruction in the Docker file. And also you can find exposed ports and host port details. Now let's see how to overwrite CMD. You have already know how to use command option while running container. Let's demonstrate that again. Here I am passing hello students as argument. Container is created. Let's inspect the container to see the CMD value. You can see argument as the value hello students and CMD as the value echo hello student. That means we have overridden default CMD value. Now let's talk about entry point instruction. Entry point somewhat similar to CMD but with different behavior. Entry point used to specify executable inside the container and entry point doesn't get overridden. When entry point and CMD are used together in Docker file, the values passed to CMD instruction will be appended to entry point argument values. This is how we can pass arguments to entry point. Let's define entry point instruction in Docker file and check the argument values. I have entered entry point instruction that is echo hello students. Let's build the image and run container out of this image. This time I am tagging as my web server too. At step 8 you can see entry point instruction was executed and image my web server 2 was successfully built. List the images. Image my web server 2 is built. Let's run a container out of this image. Container is created. Let's inspect the container. You can see CMD instruction values are appended to entry point argument values. Scroll down to see CMD and entry point values. This is the CMD and entry point values present in the Docker file. Let's have a look at Docker file. So far we have covered instructions such as from, label, run, expose, CMD and entry point. Now let's discuss key difference between CMD and entry point instructions. CMD can be overridden. Entry point cannot be overridden. However, using dash dash entry point flag, you can override the entry point. That's all for this chapter. In this chapter, you have learned how to use expose, CMD and entry point instructions in the Docker file. Thank you. See you in the next chapter.